Hi everyone, we're going to create a cool text animation today. You can use any different type of fonts, but I will link this font in the description below, it's free. I also would like to say thank you for your support. It helps me going on in the YouTube channel and create more tutorials for you guys. So make sure you subscribe and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to ask in the comments. I am available always. So let's jump into it. We're going to create a new composition. You can use your own composition settings. And I'm going to create a new background. And we're going to create a text, but you can use any different type of text. Right click on the text layer, we're going to create shapes from the text and you can delete the original text, we don't need it. I'm going to duplicate it four times because I have four letters and also I'm going to recolor each layer that we can see a bit more clear. And I'm going to delete the letters from each one, so just I keep only one. And also rename the layers, we can see the layers more clear. It's important because we're going to create a couple of layers, so keep it clean as possible. So use anchor point tool, and we're going to position the anchor point to the bottom of the letters. To select the letter and use Y or anchor point tool to reposition anchor point. We're going to draw with a pencil like a mask. So this is a shape layer, so make sure you use a tool create mask. And we're going to search for stroke. This is an effect we're going to use. Drag and drop into your layer. And you can recolor this uh, stroke basically any color. I picked red because it's very visible and just make it bigger, I mean make it thicker and make sure it covers all of your letter. <clears throat> you can reposition the mask anytime. So once your mask is good hit to start and end stopwatches and hit U it brings up the keyframes for the letter and we're going to animate this stroke over the letter. As you can see, this looks like this at the moment. And we're going to use the red mask to reveal this one. Select reveal original and it's going to reveal the, that letter. And also I'm going to change the acceleration in the MoGraph editor a little bit. So basically from this point we have to do the masking for each letter. Try to keep your mask in the middle. And always make sure you select tool mix mask because our letters now uh, shape layer so if you're going to draw mask without selecting the create mask tool it's going to draw just a, just a shape again but we need mask on the letters Once you're done, we're going to copy the effect that we created for our L. 
So com command C or control C on Windows and just paste it to, to the rest of your letters and make sure you are on staying with a zero frame and copy it to your letters. I'm going to recolor my first colors to a different color. You can choose any different color. <clears throat> so the next step I'm going to copy and paste the letter animation and we're going to create a new color animation. So basically just copy and paste your already existed animation, shift it to three frames and give give them a different color. I picked a nice bright orange. I think it suits to was this style. Shift it to three frames over and select them all and give them different color so the moment looks like this so the next step we're going to copy and paste our layer first layers again and shift it to three frames over and make sure that layer is the lowest and basically and pick a new color I picked a light, lightish uh, color. Delete the disappear animation, which should be the last keyframe, and it's it's not going to disappear. It's going to stay there. So select the first two for your layer and I parent it to the low, lower one. If you can't see the parent icon, make sure you right click on there and you can see that one. So the next step, we're going to create some bounce animation. Hit S and we're going to animate scale, which helps to reveal the letter, so it gives a bit more um, live for the letters after just select the keyframes at hit F9 which is always the easy ease And I'm going to reposition my scales around there when the letter is almost revealed. So it gives, it's a bit too fast. So I use Alt. So if you select all of your keyframes, hold Alt. And basically you can stretch your keyframes, which is a very cool way to slow down your animation or accelerate your animation. And I'm going to copy the scale animation to the to the main one. I parent the two colors to the to the white one. And the last step is basically I'm going to shift each letter in time. It gives a little bit of um, fun for this animation so if you use this couple of ways to animate your text animation you can create some amazing stuff so i highly recommend to use them please comment down below what type of animation you would like to learn next 2d or 3d hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and please subscribe for more videos like this if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me until then see you guys next time